Welcome to MMA Fancast. My name is Luke Basin. Welcome back to everyone who's already a subscriber to the YouTube channel. If you're not already a subscriber to MMA Fancast, please subscribe so you can see more great interviews, including the one coming at you right now. First time guest of the show has a BJJ Super Match uh, Nogi sub only match coming up for 247 Fighting Championships. Sprawl in the Berg 3, April 19th. Very excited to welcome first time guest to the show, Dalton Black. Dalton, welcome to the show. Hello. It's really great having you on the show. Dalton, you are training out of Octane MMA. And uh, this will be obviously not MMA. This is going to be no gi jiu jitsu. Before we get into the April 19th uh, match, which is a couple weeks away now, let's talk about your jiu jitsu experience. What got you into jiu jitsu and how have things been going for you so far as far as your development in jiu-jitsu um honestly i feel like i've always kind of had a gift of just like just like combat sports in general honestly just like jiu-jitsu wrestling and then just like everything in general i just like always had a kind of gift for it so i just kind of felt like i should have just like i, I just feel like i kind of should just pull the trigger on it instead of just like waiting forever I feel like if everyone has a gift, I feel like at some point you should just follow through and actually do it. Sure. So that's why I was like, I just feel like it's time to actually follow through with it. But And how long ago did you start training at Octane? I think I'd say probably March, I think. March of 2022. Yeah. So it's been about almost... Well, I guess technically two years, close to it, yeah. Yeah, uh, just about two years, in fact. Yeah, you just passed it. Um, what has your competitive experience been like so far? A lot of times you're going to train in jiu-jitsu quite a while before you actually start either in tournaments or matches. Uh, how has that been going for you? Uh, pretty good. I've been actually been doing – I think I did – I think I did my first tournament like three weeks into the training. Okay. And I guess and it's just been tournament, 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 tournament. So I feel like I'm pretty good as of right now. Clearly. And what what gave you the confidence? Like you said, you've always had kind of a uh, a good mindset for jujitsu. What gave you the confidence to do a tournament three weeks after training? Just a gift. I feel like I, I, feel, I feel like everything comes to me more naturally than other stuff. So I've, I I remember when I was like 10, 11 years old, I used to just wrestle around with all my friends. Sure. And, like, all the submissions that I knew now, I literally knew when I was, like, 10, 11 years old. So, I feel like at that point, I was, like, I, I have a pretty big edge compared to, like, everyone else. Because if someone all the tournaments, you'll go, there'll be, like, zero to six months of training. And I feel like uh-huh. even though I didn't have zero to six months of training, I feel like my pre-knowledge before actually training felt like I already had six months of training. So... Sure. Yeah, that makes that makes sense. Uh, do you have a belt rank, or are you primarily doing no no gi? Uh, I'm white belt right now. I should honestly be blue belt, but I feel like I've been slacking a little too much. So as of right now, I'm still white belt. Well, this will keep you focused. In you're going to be going up against Josh Kuzlock, who we've seen uh, compete at Sprawl. I can't remember if it was two. We also had a event where it was mixed mixed martial arts and. Uh, grappling, but I've seen him in the cage before. He picked up a loss in his debut. He's a Division three college wrestler out of Waynesburg University. How much thought have you given to him, or are you mainly just in there to to work on yourself? And you know, you'll find submissions as they come along. Um, I I did look at his Instagram, and I did see that he was a wrestler. Um, but that's about that's really all I know. I don't really I don't know if he has any other like tournament experience. So I think the main thing I'm going to be worried about is mostly just his wrestling. But I feel like once I get in there, I'll just pick things up as we go and just see what I can get from there. Yeah. Well, that makes a lot of sense. That's what's uh, a big part of jujitsu. What are your thoughts as far as a prediction or uh, maybe what you expect out of yourself in the match on April 19th? Um, Usually tournament-wise, uh, I've been getting – a lot of gi teams. Um, but I don't know if I want to try to do it again on this one. But I I want to get him with something else. I'm not going to say what it is. Sure. 
but I have something up my sleeve that I feel like will be impressive if I actually get it done. So we're just going to see what happens. Well, that is what's nice, Dalton, about jiu-jitsu. You can have a lot of – there's so many different submissions, even at the highest level, both in no-gi or MMA. There's sometimes submissions either get used that haven't been used in years, or every once in a while there'll be a new submission that even gets named after somebody, you know, as things develop and as things evolve. So super exciting uh, to be just about three weeks away. Thanks so much for taking – Time out to come on the show. Always excited to have a first-time guest of the show. Sprawl on the Berg and then Brawl on the Berg 21 on April 20th are always a big deal. The back-to-back -back events are just great. And so hopefully your fans, friends, whoever comes, hopefully they're um, also into potentially staying for MMA. It's a really cool back-to-back -back, uh, event. I appreciate you coming on. People need to get tickets either directly from you. People at Henzo Gracie, Morgantown, yep. Uh, no, you are. I'm so sorry. That was my last person. You're Octane MMA. They can get you from Octane MMA. Um, or they can go to 247fighting.com, order them, and give you credit. And if people are, are curious about the pay-per-view, they can download the app in any app store. 247 Live will give them either the pay-per-view option or they can even go ahead and uh, buy a year subscription, which will then give them every pay-per-view plus uh, all the uh, catalog of every fight or submission grappling that's ever happened. I appreciate you coming on. This has been Luke Bates and Friday Night Fancast with Dalton Black. Thanks so much, sir. Thank you. You got it.